Hello everybody, today we're going to read Henry's Holiday together. When reception read this, class, this book together in class, we did lots of science experiments around floating and sinking and different materials. So if the children can remember any, maybe you could recreate some at home or let me know on Twitter and I'll send you some ideas. It's story time, it's story time, shh, listen, it's story time, it's story time, shh, listen, Henry's Holiday. There was snow everywhere, white and smooth and slippery. All of the baby penguins were having fun, sliding on the ice and diving into the water. Come and play, Henry, they shouted. But Henry didn't want to play. He was too cold. If you go and play, you'll soon get warm, said Mummy Penguin, wrapping a scarf around him and giving him a kiss. Henry waddled slowly across the ice to the water's edge. Dive in, Henry, said his friend Splash the Seal. Come and play. Very, very carefully, Henry stretched out his foot and tested the water. <gasps> oh, he gasped. It's freezing. Henry waddled all the way back to Mummy Penguin very, very quickly. Henry put on his hat, but he was still cold. He put on his fluffy waistcoat, but he was still cold. He put on his big furry boots, but he was still cold. I'm tired of the snow, sighed Henry. Henry began to dream about sandy beaches and palm trees. He dreamed about coconuts and pineapples and gorgeous yellow sunshine. He decided to build his very own tropical island all made of snow. The other baby penguins had great fun playing on the snow island. But it was no use. Henry was still shivery cold. I need a holiday, he said. A very hot holiday. One day, a boat came close to the ice. Henry could not believe his luck. He jumped on board. Goodbye, snow, Henry laughed. Goodbye, baby penguins. Goodbye, Splash, he shouted. I'm going on holiday. The boat sailed on so far that Henry couldn't see the ice and snow anymore. Goodbye, Mummy Penguin, he whispered, and he felt funny all over and inside as well. Well, at least I'm not cold, Henry told himself firmly, and he wasn't. As the boat sailed further and further, the sun began to shine. It warmed Henry right down to his toes. Suddenly, Henry jumped up with excitement. Just ahead of him, was his very own tropical island. Henry dived into the water and swam to the beach. The island was full of palm trees and coconuts and pineapples. Everything was bright and warm and colourful. Henry was delighted. But when he waddled up the beach, the sand wasn't soft and smooth and slippery like the snow. It was hard and gritty and prickly. Never mind, said Henry. At least it's nice and hot. And it was. The sun beat down until Henry began to feel very, very hot indeed. Soon, Henry was a very pink penguin. Oh, never mind, he panted. I'll go and have my supper. Those juicy pineapples will be delicious. But the pineapples gave Henry a tummy ache. Oh, never mind, groaned Henry. Mummy Penguin will make it better. But Mummy Penguin wasn't there. That night, Henry sat on the beach and looked up at the big white stars. He missed the other baby penguins. He missed Splash. He even missed the snow. But most of all, he missed Mummy Penguin. A little cold tear ran down his hot little face as he finally dropped off to sleep. Henry made a decision. The very next day, Henry waddled back over the gritty, prickly sand and dived into the water. He swam and swam and swam until his little feet ached. But as, at last, he looked up and saw beautiful snow and ice again. It was white and cold and glittery. It was home and it was perfect. Hello, snow, 
Henry shouted as he got closer. Hello, penguins, Henry shouted as he got closer still. Hello, Splash, he shouted as he jumped out of the icy water. Did you enjoy your holiday, Henry? asked Splash. The very best bit about a holiday, smiled Henry, is definitely coming home again. From that day on, Henry rushed out to play in the snow every morning with his friends and he was so busy sliding and diving that he forgot all about feeling cold. And when he cuddled Mummy Penguin, he felt warm all over and inside again. The end. Snap, snap, snap. Story time is out.